Okay, welcome back. We're in the book of Exodus, chapter 20, and today, verse 11, we're working through these commandments. And, and why are you taking four mornings on the Sabbath? Because, friend, this is a neglected part of the Ten Commandments. This isn't an, it's not a neglected part of something in a church manual somewhere. This is a neglected part of the Big Ten, the Ten Commandments, the characters, commandments that outline God's character. So, so, so neglected that God says in verse 8, remember this commandment. So I'm giving you four mornings here on it as we work our way through Exodus 20. So, yeah, I am. And I have no apologies for that. Let's listen to verse 11. For in six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth, the sea, and all that is in them, and rested on the seventh day. Therefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and made it holy. I want you to notice that uh, the other commandments don't give you this, but this commandment does. In the middle of the Ten Commandments, you get this fourth commandment, the Sabbath commandment, and this one tells you why you worship God. He is the creator, okay? So this is his, his basic authority. This is the thing the devil can answer, nobody else can answer. Uh, why, do we, uh, why do we worship the God of heaven and earth? You know, does he have a better haircut? Does he, does he, does he have more power? We worship him because he's the creator. We are the creatures. We are the created. He is the creator. And he has certainly then a valid claim on our worship. So he made the world. Notice uh, he knew we'd come to a time when there was all this thinking of these long ages, millions of years, and evolution and all that. He knew that ahead of time. But he says here, look, I made the world in six days, basically six literal days. And knowing that we would have trouble with that, a lot of people in our world, he still said, yes, this is going to be in the heart of the Ten Commandments. This is going to be the heart of the single and only commandment that I, I actually use the word zikar. Remember, I'm going to put this right there. And here it is. For in six days, what did he make? The heavens and the earth, the sea and all that in them is. So in six days, he made everything. He made the sand of the sea. He made the sky. He made the planet. He made everything in the local solar system, right? And, and maybe more. Okay, so it depends on the extent of what heavens means there. Uh, but here we have a fact that God is the creator. He is the creator, and we worship him with that basis. He's the creator. He has a claim on me. I'm a creature. He's the creator. So in six days, he made all this stuff. After he made this stuff, he rested. Well, was he tired? Was he like worn out? Did he burn up all of his power? No. God, when, when God finished day six and he finished the last thing he made on day six, which was humans, the crowning part of his creation except for the Sabbath, was God tired? Was he sweating? Were there divine sweat droplets coming along? No. God had just as much vigor and energy and divine power at the end of day six as he had at the beginning of day one of the creation cycle. And so he rested, however, because he's setting us a pattern. So Adam and Eve were made on day six, and the first thing they do basically is after just a little bit of things they did on day six, it's over here to, to day seven, and God says, I want you to, to stop what you're doing, take this time, spend it with me. So after he made all this stuff, then he rested on the seventh day. It's not like I rested on any random day. He says, I rested on day seven. It's very particular. And it not only is a day of rest, but he also blessed it and made it holy. So this day is set apart different from all other days. There's no day that's quite like the Sabbath. There are a few different ceremonial Sabbaths scattered through the book of Leviticus in different places uh, that are added after sin enters the world. There are shadow Sabbaths that sort of uh, point to Jesus in the end when Jesus comes at the cross. But this original Sabbath, the creation Sabbath, from before man and sin, there's two things, you know, that we get uh, from before man sins, right? We get the marriage between a, a man and a woman, and we get the Sabbath. Those are from God's perfect, sinless world. Those are gifts from that time. The Sabbath's still here. It has never changed. So here we have this call to worship him. Don't forget it. This is a day that's blessed. This is a day that he made holy. This is a day that God rested on and he wanted to spend and have us spend that time with him. So today we've taken four mornings. We've taken the commandment about remember, remember the Sabbath day. We've just looked at it very quickly, each of these mornings, uh, following out why, because almost all Christian churches seems to have forgotten the Sabbath but Jesus said, remember, the Ten Commandments are there. We are to remember them. So we put a little bit a little bit of extra emphasis on a couple of these, right? Because God says, remember, and I give no apologies 
for helping us remember the thing that God says remember. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you back tomorrow morning.